It's going to be a sad day, but I think it's going to be, it's going to show a lot of pride in our city. Sarah Loflem works for the Valley Community Association. This morning, she was at the association's restaurant on Ohio Street, preparing for crowds of law enforcement who will be staging from this area. Around the city, flags are at half-staff. Morning bunting hung at police headquarters, and city crews spent the day posting notices to drivers. This gentleman was not only a police officer, he was in the military. After services at the Key Bank Center, a funeral procession will head down Delaware Avenue past the Catholic Academy of West Buffalo. And this is what we're forming you for, service. He was an exceptional young man. Even young kids have been following the tragic events. We've been keeping him in our prayers during morning announcements. Tomorrow, all 187 students will be standing in front of the school, regardless of the weather. And watch them drive by with our hand over our hearts. Further down Delaware Avenue, Canisius High School plans to line the street with 800 students and staff. So I hope this show of solidarity, this show of support, you know, gives them at least some comfort. The procession will end at Forest Lawn Cemetery, which is expecting its largest funeral ever. Today, preparations were underway with ground crews hard at work as a bugler practiced taps and his salute. Everyone now focused on making sure the funeral for Craig Lehner will be worthy of a fallen hero. I think our presence is a message. And because the funeral and procession will be so large, there will be restrictions on some road use and parking in Buffalo. We have information on our website, WKBW.com. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.